So when we go to a place, when we experience a landscape, when we experience certain forms of nature and those forms especially if they are beauteous, if they are beautiful, do something to our consciousness. We carry those images with us and those images stay in our consciousness for a long time even after we have left that place and gone to other places which may be completely different from the places where we have collected these images. In the next line he says, But oft in lonely rooms and mid the din of towns and cities I have owed to them in hours of weariness, sensation sweet, felt in the blood and felt along the heart. So the landscape, nature has never really been absent in my life. But often when I was lonely, Wordsworth says, despite loneliness, despite solitude, and amid the din of towns and cities, and towns and cities offer very different soundscapes, different from the ones that we have come across in the first stanza, the sound of running water, river water, the sounds of birds, rustling leaves, natural sounds. We do not find those sounds in towns and cities. So, amidst the din, the noise of towns and cities, I have remembered this place. I am grateful to this place, to nature in general, and what it has to offer, what it has given me, what sort seems to say. In hours of weariness, when I have been tired, every time I have felt exhausted, sensation sweet, I have felt sweet sensations. I have felt it in the blood and felt along the heart. So I have felt it deeply. That's what he's trying to say. I've felt it in the blood. When you feel something in your blood, it's the deepest kind of feeling. Felt along the heart. So it has almost constituted his entire being. It has transformed him as a person. And since he has come in contact with nature, he has experienced nature in such profound ways, he can never forget it felt along the heart and passing even into my purer mind. And this passage, notice the word passing, uh, the impressions that he has collected from nature has passed into his purer mind. It has transformed his mind and his being and his soul, his heart into something that's purer. It has passed into his purer mind with tranquil restoration. It has restored his peace of mind. It has restored his vision. And that activity and that process of restoration has been tranquil, has been calm and serene and peaceful. So here also you have a oblique reference to Wordsworth's idea of poetry as an activity of recollecting emotions in tranquility. Feelings too of unremembered pleasure, such perhaps as have no slight or trivial influence on that best portion for a good man's life, his little nameless unremembered acts of kindness and of love. He has felt pleasures, but he does not remember the source or the reason behind such pleasures. It's very curious. When you remember something, the, the sensation of pleasure but you do not know what caused that pleasure in the first place. Such perhaps as have no slight or trivial influence on that best portion of a good man's life. So, a good man's life, or rather good life, a life of justified living, just living, a life of kindness, a life spent in loving. What is that life like? Wordsworth seems to ask here, a life that is well spent. Feelings of unremembered pleasure. Nature has taught him to be kind, to be loving, and to be totally selfless. Nor less I trust to them I may have owed another gift of aspect more sublime. What else has nature taught him? He says that I may have owed another gift of aspect more sublime. That blessed mood in which the burden of the mystery, in which the heavy and the weary weight of all this unintelligible world is lightened. Nature has also offered him another gift, a sublime gift of that blessed mood in which the burden and the mystery and the unintelligibility 
of this world and the ensuing burden is lifted in which the burden of the mystery in which the heavy and the weary weight of all this unintelligible world is lightened that serene and blessed mood in which the affections gently lead us on and the memory of nature of the time spent in proximity of nature time spent in natural surroundings the experience of nature leads us gently into that serene and blessed mood and it does so affectionately and it has the power to keep us protected and keep us happy throughout our life and that is why verse says that serene and blessed mood in which the affections gently lead us on until the breath of this corporeal frame and even the motion of our human blood almost suspended we are laid asleep in body and become a living soul so until the day we die nature has a power to comfort us it has the providence to provide us with shelter until the day we are laid asleep in body and become a living soul so it does not stop there nature also teaches us that the death of the body is not the end after we die we become a living soul while with an eye made quiet by the power of harmony and the deep power of joy we see into the life of things so the more connected with nature we are <clears throat> the more ability we have to see into the life of things to see beyond the surface of things to see beyond the materiality the tangibility of the world that surrounds us it's as if nature provides us with a passport to another world altogether where we can see things for what they really are nature teaches us guides us leads us to that serene and blessed mood where with an eye made quiet by the power of harmony and the deep power of joy we see into the life of things so he is basically talking about a superior kind of ecstasy that very few people are able to feel very few people are blessed with an ability to see into the life of things an ability to feel a special kind of joy that is not restricted to uh, pleasurable sensations it's a pleasure but it's of a more profounder kind a permanent state of happiness can a person be happy all the time yes a person can be happy all the time what's what seems to say if he is connected now what does this connection mean connected with what connected with nature of course primarily but more importantly connected with one's self if we are connected with ourself we feel that there is no conflict everything appears to be unified and that is what words what means by the the expression the power of harmony the power of harmony manifests itself only when we recognize that everything is united awareness that we are already connected we are already connected with other people other forms of life nature in general and but the thing is sometimes we do not understand this sometimes or most of the times most of us are not aware that we are connected and the more divisions we create among ourselves between nature and mankind between our surroundings and our individual existence the more problematic it can we are losing that connection with nature we're trying to profit enormously from nature we are exploiting nature in the process nature is also distance distancing itself from us we will stop exploiting and abusing and misusing natural resources because we are part of that and we have to be connected in order for a sustainable living to be possible to be made possible we are going through this enormous current of change that is taking place all the time without our noticing it everything is changing we ourselves are changing all the time it said that change is the only constant so only when we die we become dust and we merge with the earth 
physically and that dust changes into something else perhaps over a course of thousand years it becomes a little pebble or a stone or maybe from that earth a plant a little sapling arises we cannot hold on to anything so wordsworth actually gives us a suggestion in order to merge with things in order to understand in order to have that deep insight into nature in order to feel that ecstatic joy we have to forget ourselves and we have to be that stone that rock that tree that plant or that animal or that human being you know in a whole family of mankind not only mankind but every living thing is connected all living things are connected <clears throat> to one another so we have to be we have to be fluid in terms of identity